Taiwan faces significant challenges in phasing out nuclear energy. Its heavy reliance on imported natural gas poses a serious risk. For instance, if supply routes were blocked, such as a potential Chinese naval blockade, Taiwan's natural gas reserves might only last 10 to 14 days, risking a severe power outage. Taiwan began using nuclear energy in the 1970s, and it once served as a major source of electricity. However, after the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan, concerns over nuclear safety rose significantly. In response, Taiwan's legislature passed a non-nuclear home policy in 2014, aiming to completely phase out nuclear power by 2025. The decision was influenced not only by safety worries, but also by difficulties in handling long-term nuclear waste growing public opposition to nuclear energy, and a commitment to environmental sustainability. Since phasing out nuclear, Taiwan's electricity generation relies heavily on thermal power, mainly natural gas and coal, which together account for about 70% of the power supply. Renewable energy sources, including solar, wind, and hydropower, make up approximately 15 to 20%. Nuclear energy has been reduced to zero, while other sources like geothermal and biomass remain small but hold future potential. Taiwan is rapidly developing renewable energy. Solar power installations have grown quickly, benefiting from Taiwan's favorable geography. Offshore wind farms are actively being promoted and are expected to become a significant energy source. Existing hydropower facilities provide stable power but have limited room for expansion. Geothermal and biomass energy are still in early stages, but could gradually contribute more to the energy mix. Advantages Phasing out nuclear energy reduces the risk of nuclear accidents and avoids the problems of long-term nuclear waste disposal. It also promotes the growth of renewable energy, helping Taiwan move toward a more sustainable and environmentally friendly energy system. Disadvantages Relying more on imported natural gas and coal increases pressure on the security of electricity supply. This can lead to higher energy costs and greater air pollution in the short term. Additionally, compared to nuclear power, maintaining a stable and reliable energy supply becomes more challenging. Germany phased down nuclear power after the Fukushima disaster. It invested heavily in renewables like wind and solar. However, it now faces high electricity costs and concerns over supply stability. These challenges worsened during the Russia-Ukraine war, when natural gas supplies from Russia were disrupted, causing energy shortages and driving prices even higher. Japan shut down all nuclear power plants after Fukushima and has restarted some under stricter rules. Public concern over safety remains strong. The government faces ongoing debate over the future of nuclear energy. Sweden is slowly reducing nuclear energy while expanding renewables. It keeps some reactors running for energy stability. The country aims for a clean, balanced energy mix. Belgium planned to phase out nuclear power by 2025. Due to energy concerns, it delayed shutting down some reactors. It is also investing in wind, solar, and gas to diversify supply. These countries show that phasing out nuclear power is possible, but it requires careful planning, strong investment in renewables, and strategies to manage costs and energy stability. Public opinion and political will also play a crucial role in the process. Taiwan faces significant challenges in phasing out nuclear energy. Its heavy reliance on imported natural gas poses a serious risk. For instance, if supply routes were blocked, such as a potential Chinese naval blockade, Taiwan's natural gas reserves might only last 10 to 14 days, risking a severe power outage. In addition, increased use of fossil fuels like coal raises environment and health concerns. The Taichung Power Plant, one of the world's largest coal-fired plants, has been linked to higher rates of respiratory diseases in nearby communities. Furthermore, Renewable energy sources such as solar and wind are intermittent and unreliable without sufficient energy storage. A major blackout in 2021 revealed weaknesses in Taiwan's power grid and lack of advanced storage technology. As of 2023, Taiwan's energy storage capacity met less than 1% of peak demand, showing the urgent need for a smart grid and storage improvements. 
Emerging nuclear technologies, such as small modular reactors, offer improved safety, flexibility, and scalability. These next-generation reactors are gaining global attention. For example, the U.S. has approved new scales SMR design and plans to deploy the first unit in Idaho. Canada will build North America's first commercial SMR in Ontario, while China is constructing the Linglong One in Hainan. Russia has even launched a floating SMR to power remote Arctic regions. The UK is investing in Rolls-Royce SMRs as part of its decarbonization plan. Despite this growing trend, political and social resistance in Taiwan remains strong. However, if energy security concerns deepen, Taiwan may be forced to revisit its nuclear policies and consider adopting advanced technologies like SMRs as part of a balanced and resilient energy strategy. Taiwan's nuclear phase-out faces significant challenges but also presents opportunities for transformation. In the future, balancing energy security, environmental sustainability, and technological innovation will be key to achieving a stable and green energy future.